Richards here from Rock the Stage NYC here on YouTube and RPMVocalStudio.com on the web for voice lessons worldwide. Again, check the description there. Get both my vocal courses just for 50 bucks. Digital download, nice and easy for being a cool person watching this video. Links to playlists for all sorts of other types of videos on various subjects of singing. Take lessons with me via Skype or here in the studio in New York City. Check out the description. Now, on to today's thing. This is something I want you to watch out for when you're singing and vocalizing, doing your is swallowing your vowels. This is something not a lot of vocal coaches uh, go on about and talk about, and that is not um, making sure that the uh, making sure that the vowel is um, completely formed, as they say, intonated. Right. <clears throat> Watch for this type of sound when you're vocalizing and singing. If I just say like ah, right, and I go ah. It's nice and open, it's bright, it sounds tall, it sounds fully realized. Watch for this sound though. And it starts to sound like it's, I'm saying, uh, instead of ah. I've swallowed the vowel. The resonance of ah, which should be here, has now fallen back here. Now this can happen as you get up into uh, an area of your vocal range which starts to become difficult. Uh, you start to feel a little resistance. You'll tend to want to kind of grab here and that can pull the resonance back here. The idea, what I would, in terms of what I teach in the RPM method, I hate to use that word, but is separating compression level here with articulation up here. What I call a respiration, phonation, manipulation, which is the RPM thing. We're separating all three things from each other so that we can manipulate one and not interfere with the other two. So what we want to learn is how to compress here without that pulling the resonance away from where it needs to be in here in the vocal track or resonance space, whatever you want to call it. And that is what I suggest, visualize the vowel in your head. Like I said, say what we're doing, ah, right, or a, right? See the letter A in your mind's eye and just look as if you're looking at the letter A on a piece of paper and just look at that and be listening to make sure that that A does not change. So, Now, it's going to sound, start to sound slightly flat. It's going to start to sound flat because you're pulling the resonance out of position, out of its resonance space that it actually wants to live in. This is something, now ease, people generally don't do ease well, but it's I's, A's, um, U's, you can actually even swallow even more, you have to watch for that. Uh, so you go, uh, start to feel resistance, uh, you're going to clamp here too much. You need to compress here, but you don't want to over compress so much that it actually starts to interfere with the sound of the vowel inside the resonance space. Uh, and I tell my students if it starts to feel like it's pulling backwards, lean the uh towards an ah. We don't want to hear ah, but we want to kind of have it feel in tear more like how an ah feels. Ah, and it opens up. And that uh vowel, that very dark compressed vowel, starts to intonate properly. Uh, and it sounds more in pitch. So watch out for this if when you're vocalizing and singing that you're not swallowing your vowels. So next time, this is Kevin Richards. Keep rocking, keep practicing. Yeah.